Hello everybody, welcome to Tennessee Titans franchise. We are in week 15 against and at the New York Jets. It's gonna be a tough matchup. They have a really good defense and despite their two and 11 record, their Madden ratings are good. So they're probably gonna be a tough team to beat. We've got virtually no side quests here today, just for uh, weekly strategy. And then we head into the game with Rashawn Montag. He is back from injury and we uh, went and I just got silver in that drill. I really didn't care too much. We'll start the training. I'll let you guys know if we have any upgrades. KJ Hamler and Mike Dana. KJ Hamler has been our most productive receiver all season long, and he probably just needs to get a little bit better release. Oh my God, his release is uh, not not great. So we're going to go ahead and try to upgrade that for him as he's going to need it quite a bit to get off the line, especially if he wants to beat guys deep. So plus two release and uh, just stuff needs to go up for him to be an all around better player. And he's been a great speedster for us. But if we want him to be more, he's going to have to just turn into more. And Mike Dana's just normally in to stop the pass. So we'll just continue what he's good at and that's power moves here we are and we are in our alternate uniforms along with the uh the jets in their black uniforms we have our lighter colors on as we are the away team so let's kick this one off let's get this one going zach wilson's numbers on the season he's 112 of 219 1300 yards 10 touchdowns eight interceptions he is probably the reason they are 2 and 11 he does not look good on the the season so far and we'll see how that can continue here today and hopefully it will as we have uh focused on stopping the run for this team because they are such a good team on the ground and they have very talented players and it just shows their first run goes for 15 for Brees Hall. First and 10 now. Aziz Alshire will come in unblocked virtually and they will have, was that Tyler Croft on the outskirts? What's good? Is that Zach Koontz? And Zach Wilson just throws this one out and away and I'm guessing we're going to see our injuries here. Peter Skronsky, Jalen Reynolds, Andrew Dillard and Nicholas petit Frere all expect to come back in the next three weeks. The sooner we can get Jalen Reynolds back on offense, the superstar rookie running back would be the better. He is basically our offense and uh, has has been for the majority of his time on this team and we drafted him just this year third and nine we'll see or we'll try to hold the uh the jets here to something that they you know, obviously can't convert on zach wilson does not look good and then i don't know what's going on with the two different color sleeves there but uh they were trying to get something and we didn't allow anything and they'll punt this one away we will actually have ty J spears in the backfield though starting this one after antonio gibson had actually a very good week last week just uh wanted to see a little bit more of ty J spears because he's been very under the radar for us and second and six is a perfect time to just uh try our luck underneath this one's gonna be picked off almost there is a flag though jalen duncan is gonna get hit with the hold the uh young left tackle will set us back we do have two plays to get this one up the field though which is good i'm not gonna run for one of them i'm gonna try to believe here in malik willis and his ability and rightfully so clyde claxton breaks a tackle he is breaking free he's got all the speed in the world he's definitely gonna beat quincy williams to the end zone Clyde Claxton on a huge play the rookie takes it to the end zone on a house call let's see what we could do here I'm gonna try not to let a big play happen but it's exactly what happens and Mikko Hardman just outruns my secondary we'll try to dive there and just two big plays back to back and they're showing that they're in it to win it as well Mikko Hardman who is not playing in real life comes in and just torches our defense pretty uh pretty bad by us and we'll see Gibson in the backfield this time around Brunskill needs to get to CJ Mosley earlier last week 19 rushes 105 yards and the week previous to that one he had three touchdowns on the ground i think it was like 20 carries for 85 yards in those three touchdowns so he's had um some good success as of late for sure and uh we'll look for malik willis to roll out and try to hit Traylon burks in stride and he can't do that and we will just go clyde claxton here just make the catch young man he has his second one and he's already at 100 yards and on a pretty tight box here we will go play action and just try to hit our tight end in the middle. Carlos Diaz has done a great job through contact all season long. We'll flip this play and try to run away from Quinn and Williams on that defensive line who does not have um, inside stuff, which is very much a relief as we'll try to just run up the middle with Antonio Gibson. He's good for a few yards. Snap this one. Try to make something happen. I have a wide open Traylon Burks who just intentionally goes out of bounds to catch it. Like, what the f- I am not. This game is ridiculous at times, for sure. Can we try to get this one to Carlos Diaz? Nope, inaccurate. Of course, we'll try to get something on this play. Uh, we could use just about anything at this point. Try to just throw it up to our big body tight end, and he probably had the best chance out of anyone. 
with pressure in our face. Malik Willis does a good job at least giving the tight end the chance there. And uh, it looks like we are not favored for a field goal here, which is interesting. I guess we can try to nail him in the, the coffin corner here or whatever you want to call it. We'll try something. Try to nail him deep here. Oh, this one's going to be into the end zone for sure. Going to be pl tough playing man and being comfortable with what we just saw from Mikkel Hardman, right? So this one will hopefully not uh, get too out of hand and maybe no other big plays we can't afford anything like that so we'll try to play somewhat conservatively but also still keep uh, our gas or our pedal our foot on the pedal oh my god can't <laughs> can't talk can't reiterate my thoughts down to you guys as uh, zach wilson throws this one out and away wisely miko hardman we have to be careful here while he's in the slot and this one is going to be play action and they're not going to have anyone except zach nope that's not zach that is i believe jeremy ruckert with the catch we really have not brought the heat so far today we are going to with levante david trying to sack uh quarterback zach wilson as he will wisely get this one away again doing a good job but uh it's taking a hit on his completion percentage for sure and this one out to the running back Brees hall it's going to be missed anyways third and ten important down coming up for the jets who really have struggled to get anything going on this drive against our very good pass coverage on uh, our defensive drive here been very proud of that we'll see what we could do probably just sit on like miko hardman or something and Zach Wilson's going to try to run up and away. And for some reason, um, Levante David takes a shitty angle, even though that's not where my joysticks ain't, uh, are, like, I guess, pointed towards. First and 10, we are bringing the uh, the boys here. And it's going to be an Alan Lazard huge gain. And, um, yeah, we're going to have to take him down. You got to be joking me right now. We've just played so well. And then to break down like this on defense is just utterly embarrassing as we'll shove uh, Miko Hardman out of bounds. We'll try to bring everyone in here to stop the run. And they will do a good job. They being Levante David scanning across the line, making a hell of an effort there. And we'll bring... Never mind. Okay, hang on. We got to we gotta dial this one back because of the, uh, the certain formation they come out in. And this one, incomplete fourth and inches i'd expect them to go for this no they are happy coming away with their three points somehow so it'll be 10 to uh seven and we'll get the ball we've got to look to get this run game going something that has propelled us to this point in the season quincy williams gets a missed tackle there and ty j spears will be stopped with forward progress after a gain of six. Second and four now they've got a nice little blitz coming and malik willis has room and space he'll beat two defensive linemen puna ford and quinnon williams at the field and dj reed will run him out of bounds and we will run the ball here just trying to get up the middle of the field with ty j not a whole lot going on this is the play as i wanted k AJ Hamler for right here are these plays where he can try to get out into space and make stuff happen, but the blocking is just too bad on that jailbreak screen. And we'll be up and going here. I will happily take my chance with KJ Hamler, who just can't get out to that ball with pressure in Malik Willis's face. With any other quarterback, we are, you know, up a few points right now, but we have Malik Willis who just likes to handcuff us, and that's basically the reality of it. We have uh, a unreliable quarterback we will try kj hamler swatted away dj reed has eyes on the back of his head as he was dropping back with his head turns to the quarterback um uh, kj hamler makes a good uh, cut and i thought he'd be open lead him into space and this one just not the right call obviously we'll get out to Brees hall there second and nine we're gonna have to watch for that up the middle of the field and a good layout and uh, an even better catch, though, through uh, contact by Garrett Wilson. We are going to bring the pressure, and Levante David uh, is forced a missed tackle there by Brees Hall, doing a, a great job making Levante David miss in the backfield there. Unfortunate. So we will switch to more of a, a, a traditional pass rush here with both of our linebackers going after the center this one pressure in zach wilson's face can't get it out there are going to be holes in the zone but we have to count on zach wilson to miss them as uh they're going to try to get zach wilson to run away and he will throw it away after getting out of pressure there so we'll get the punt back and this one's been a defensive one to say the least a couple of big plays have propelled both teams to points but other than that very defensive showdown antonio gibson's turn and he'll have a little bit of that burst that we don't see from tajay too often Gibson's good for 10. Successful play. No safety over top. They are bringing the pressure, though. Be lucky to get this one thrown out and away. Our favorite play of the year is going to be that running back screen and just trying to follow our blockers and make the right decisions. We get up for eight yards. Gibson on third and two. He's been good so far today. He's going to try to make a man miss. Can't. Trying to bull through someone. 
we're never going to convert on third and two with a run play. Like, it's a very low chance that Madden lets that happen. And this one's just going to be right at Christian Fulton, who's been playing great football as of late. And he'll have himself an interception. Play action here on first down. We will go for KJ Hamler, who will just take it down to the ground there. And we'll go hurry up and just try to find a lucky or a good uh, running back run here against a weird defensive front. But uh, it didn't really look as, or it didn't really execute as good as it looked. Second and goal now. We're going to roll out and we aren't going to have anyone to participate with us. Nobody moves with us and nobody will make their best effort for a touchdown. Third and goal. We're going to go straight for a, uh, a great player on offense. And he's going to have a great touchdown in the red zone. Short, uh, I guess it was third and goal. We needed a big play. Got inside leverage. Uh, linebacker moved to the right. Saw the opening on the left. KJ Hamler, explosive, makes a play. Fights his way into the end zone. Uh, overall, great play from our Tennessee Titans offense closer to that line. And what am I doing? We'll bring our defense a little closer. And that's a bad decision. Brees Hall is out and running loose. We're going to need Roger McCreary to make some sort of effort to stop him absolutely costly mistake bringing um well bringing our defense in while well, it was an outside run very annoying there just the right play call there from the jets and brought our defense inside and just couldn't do anything about outside and roger mccreary now has an interception but he'll be down on the one uh two great plays from two amazing dbs and my game is doing the uh the framey thing again where i'm at like 20 frames it feels like I, I can't i can't catch a freaking break man it, it pisses me off so bad because i know it might translate to the video as well which is very annoying but i guess i really don't have the top of the line pc you need for madden 20 fucking four. Third and seven now we will run the football and cj mosley is just too good fourth and four or fourth and five will be forced to punt this one off and away first and ten for this uh untrustworthy um i guess offense as zach wilson is thrown Two interceptions already today, and Alan Lazard is down with an injury. And this one, just going to be lobbed up for Miko Hardman, who just straight up beats Christian Fulton. Miko Hardman has been a problem. Three minutes and 45 seconds to go down and make a nice drive. And if you think I'm going to even think about doing a little option there, you are stupid, and uh, so is this game, dude. We can't get anything going. Uh, the right blitz from the Jets. We can't give him a chance to score again. We're going to have to just get the first down here no matter what it takes. And this one just lobbed up. We uh, roll out and Malik Willis takes too much time in the pocket. People get to him. He's under pressure. He's not going to deliver an accurate throw. Third and ten. Just like that when I say, hey, we can't let this happen. It's happening. And we're going to try to go underneath. And Clyde Claxton, it's a good catch, but... CJ Mosley saw it all the way through. Miko Hardman today, three receptions, 137 yards, and two touchdowns. And uh, Clyde Claxton, who is in the midst of a breakout game, goes out with a bruised sternum, and he'll be out for the rest of the game, which is not good. We're going to shift into some zone coverage here. We can't really hang with um, the Jets here in man, so we will switch on over to uh, some zone coverage just to try to minimize the mistakes. First and 10 after a Jeremy Ruckert first down. And wow, Rashawn Montag with half a sack coming flying off the opposing edge, flies all the way across the pocket to stop a, uh, a very, <laughs> very anxious Zach Wilson trying to get it out to one of his targets on the uh, the left side of the field there. Couldn't do much. Two minute warning. Joseph Klein using to uh, roam the middle of the field. And we'll just try to get number 86 up and out of bounds there. Third and eight. We'll try to stop this offense here that has done a good job against us here today. And um, they have thrown this one out and away. We'll get the ball back. We have three timeouts. We could make something happen here. And we'll be off with this play. Just trying to find something. And we will. Oh, my God. Traylon Burks up across. And are they going to count that out of bounds? They do. Wow. What a play. And we will snap this one off again. Look for something going here. We'll try to get this one down to Antonio Gibson. He gets out of bounds after four. And we will go for Kyle Phillips, who tries to get up the field. Doesn't really do a great job doing so. We'll try to call, like, the same play. Try to get Kyle Phillips underneath again, except they will put another man over there. Doesn't matter. We'll go for him early, and he will get laid out. We'll use a timeout here. Tajay Spears on a very good attempt here on a uh, running back screen. 
So it was read by a defensive lineman, but just wasn't fast enough to uh, execute what he had already read. And so that will uh, put them kind of down in the depths here. If that safety drops on the right side, which very low chance he will, I was going to say we'd have a very good chance from uh, one of our players to make a play. And uh, it'll be a first down. To see our team smartly pick up and uh, just drop a drive like this is pretty cool. So we'll just try for, oh my God, almost an interception. I see Traylon Burks. He's going to be in man coverage over top. We'll just try to give him an up and go for it. Nope, <laughs> no chance at all. And we'll see what we can do here. We got KJ Hamler who was getting bumped and takes a secure catch. We'll call a timeout. Snap this ball. We'll go KJ Hamler again. That'll be his uh, almost his second linebacker just went the wrong way again. And it was a good play by the DB to uh, make up for his mistake on that last one. And now a little bit more of an unprobable play with, um, you know, the safety over there. Never mind. We'll go for you got to be joking. I hate this. F uh, the game is so freaking stupid. DJ Reed knew exactly what we were doing. And it was a bullet pass, and I forgot you can't bullet pass on a fade route. We picked this Jets defense to pieces to get to that goal line there for what would have been our third touchdown on this one. And oh my God, house call, Levante, David, make it to the end zone. I swear to God, big dog, he goes up, he'll be down on the one. We'll have our second chance and a third interception from Zach Wilson today. Yikes. We'll have one try at a run here, and Antonio Gibson will power in. I said we had one chance there because we had a timeout to, to spare, and this one is in our favor after an amazing interception from Levante. David just reads the play in Zach Wilson's eyes well enough and uh, to capitalize on the one-yard line when uh, after getting picked off is uh, very, very nice. Good feeling. First and 10, we'll see the run incoming, trying to stop it early there, and we do. And I don't think that they'll call any timeouts or anything. And I think we receive it after halftime as well. So looking forward to that. But first, halftime report coming up. And a divisional matchup, right? I think that's these two. <laughs> I honestly don't know. But the 9-4 and four Colts are getting destroyed by the 6-7 and seven Texans down 21-0. to zero. Uh, You know, Pierce has a touchdown. Stroud has a touchdown over there. Very good from uh, them doing what they need to do to beat their division opponents. Is it? I, I feel like they're not the same division. I don't think they are. I'm... I don't know why. I just think that. But Eagles, the 10-3 and 3 Eagles, will be beating up on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over there in Detroit. A cold matchup here. And the Lions are 11-2. and 2, And they are currently beating the Vikings by a very narrow amount. We'll head back to our game where we receive the football. The last pass attempt from Malik Willis went for an interception. Can we change that here? I guess there's only one way to find out, right? As we're going to try to get Josh Wiley in space. He actually catches it. You've got to be kidding me. Josh Wiley. Sensational catch down the field to start this first or the second half. First play of the second half goes for a long shot there. And we will head for Antonio Gibson, who will try to push this one forward. Good for five. What a way to start the half. Little play action here. We'll go for KJ Hamler, who's up on the sidelines. This one thrown inaccurately, and KJ Hamler really couldn't concentrate there. This should be an interesting play, depending on what they come out and do. We will roll out and try to get this one to KJ. This one just thrown out of play, and I'm assuming we'll have the opportunity at... Why do we want to go for it? We don't want to go for it. Play type. Um, give me special, give me a freaking oh, 54 yard field goal here. The wind is probably not in our favor. This is four down territory. Coach is right. Should uh, learn by now to listen to coach. As I'm going to use, or, or not use, or I'm going to just use Kyle Phillips to hopefully bring that linebacker down. If Traylon Burks gets a good enough release, which he did, we're going to go up for him in the back of the end zone. Incomplete. Um, <laughs> bad decision by me. This one will be a run towards the outside and Levante David there to uh, wrap up. Second and six, we're looking at a jet sweep attempt and as he's Al Shair and Jonathan Allen and I think Amani Hooker had something to say about that one. Third and eight now. We'll look to just, uh, I guess, keep Hardman in check, which we obviously can't do. He gets another reception up the middle of the field. Hardman has been way too good today as, um, yeah, not anymore, buddy. Garrett Wilson, but 
that there's still a receiver right i think we played good defense but we've just had some key mistakes and that really handcuffs us to what we've uh what the positions we put ourselves in can we get someone to go after zach wilson who might turn it over for a fourth time i guess what i'm trying to say is we've played good defense until we haven't on that one play and it gives up chunk yardage and this one straight to jeremy rucker it's complete and jeffrey simmons is down on the play that is not good first and 10 we got to watch out for these runs here and this one just a good defensive scheme why the frick are you giving me christian fulton or someone whoever was over there give me the guy that's close this game fucking sucks in that regard like i feel like there is such a way you could use proximity and just make the right switch on and switch off i don't know what's so hard about that but madden can't program for shit by the way it was a great sack last time around and uh this time they'll be lining up a little differently and uh they'll be trying to get it out to Brees hall and he will be up to the 10. third and goal i'm fine letting something up underneath as long as it isn't like a qb scramble or anything like that but if it's something like that i'll be more than happy to let it up and it'll be fourth and goal Brees hall couldn't do what uh whatever magic zach wilson expected him to do here i'm sure they'll just put up these three points and be happy with it It'll be a one-point game, and we'll have the ball in our hands, and we still have momentum on our side somehow. But this one is not over. It's not even close. we got to go down and do something on offense. We've done a good job here today throwing the football, so we'll just try to carry on that trend and go to Traylon Burks, who is dangerous after the catch. He was at Arkansas, and we're starting to feel that here. He's had a couple of plays where he shows a lot of promise in that regards. Uh, after the catch and what he can do with his explosiveness and this is a very stacked line i would not mind passing on this um we'll see what uh Traylon burks does on this play and nothing really going if i do remember correctly that that is not what i wanted to do oh my god i know i had emphasis in the past game but hey we gotta keep it going on the ground but we haven't done much today and passing's really been our our spot so we'll try to just kind of not perfect it but we'll try to work it you know we can't really work the run but we can try to work the pass here and just see defense of uh different defensive looks i should say and we've got nobody open just trying to chuck it up for our uh willful tight end first and 10 we gotta watch for the runs here because they've been uh dangerous as we will try to get someone there on zach wilson it's rashawn montag the uh the good athlete he is can keep up with a guy like zach wilson zach wilson under center now and they will just dump it down to jeremy rucker and J joseph klein will come over and wrap up there for the missed tackle that was missed by i don't know one of our dbs could have been mccreary i'm not 100 sure on that but we'll look to play good coverage here again. I'm going to tell our DBs to play up a little closer and uh, just try not to let anything happen as we'll try to get a conservative tackle with Hooker on Brees Hall. And that one actually goes for a loss. Fourth and five. Lack of defenders out to the right side really makes me like this play right here where we go for KJ Hamler and just try to outrun some fools. We can't. It's a, it's a good try and a good attempt there, but just couldn't really do much. And this one might have been set up like a run, but it isn't going to be as we will go for. And this one, is this intercepted really? No, it's not. Okay. Luckily incomplete as uh, it would have been DPI other than that, because definitely should have been. There's definitely a push and a shove back there. Um, not a whole lot going on as we'll just try to quick snap it to our running back. And like I said, oh, wow, we do get lucky here. They will call it first and 10 and I will not get him a chance to review that one as we go right back to the run and i'm sure we won't see nearly as harsh of a blitz as we did last time around quincy's still flying around the field though second and eight now we'll just go for the uh the willing running back underneath uh, antonio gibson shows a little bit of that power that he's got we'll go play action now and just try to find you know someone somewhere we do actually we have antonio gibson who will get locked into an animation there with Bryce Hall that I don't really like. He got his head taken off. We'll run towards the left side here, and the rookie center doesn't do a great job containing everything. I, I thought that they would uh, run a different way than they ended up uh, running, so just kind of a, a miscommunication there. Leads to a third and three, where I want to do uh, a little bit of a, a QB run here if it was uh, designed to happen, but it wasn't, and we still will convert on the ground with malik willis first and 10 now and kj hamler in the back of the end zone not good enough dj reed does a great job taking away him and Traylon burks there and that safety drops that was what i was looking for we'll go for kyle phillips who would have been open beat his man and everything like that but malik willis just cannot deliver an accurate ball for the damn life of him this one a little play action we'll go for Traylon burks in the back of the end zone they're gonna call it out of bounds 
they can't make a call for the lives of them and our receivers can't concentrate on their feet for the lives of them if this one is out of bounds this is like the 19th time we've seen in the past two weeks and one foot in i'm guessing he's not even gonna try with the other yep god damn it this one up and good will make it more than a three-point game make it a four-point game making it a touchdown game second and inches and i'm going to bring a blitz but i'm also going to stay pretty conservative over the top here because i don't want to see an outside run work out for them again and uh it'll be a tackle from Bayard on Brees Hall. first and 10 and they will uh have the lane up the middle the jets trying to get something going but they really aren't as joseph klein over there but levante david's there first making a good play on Brees hall at the line third and four they're gonna try to rely on their team why does it take forever for uh baiting that perfectly levante david just takes 10 years to turn around and make a play on the damn football i i swear he turns on a dime when i don't need him to but when I absolutely need him to, he just sucks balls and can't do shit. Like, the guy sucks, man. Just trying to get out in front of uh, Breeze Hall. Get off a blocker. Make me a play. Third and six. We'll look to lock this team up. I would most likely want to be out there for this one. Never mind. Levante David can't. What is the point of having you on the field if you can't play defense, you twat? Levante David literally waited for that one to be completed in his face as we're going to try to go after Zach Wilson, who then throws it away. Second and ten. They're going to try to bring um, Brees Hall up into this, uh, the gut of the defense there and couldn't really do much. Third and seven. We'll look to uh, just play good pass coverage in the middle of the field. I guess kind of cross our T's and check our, our... Fuck me. I can't talk. I don't know why. Inaccurate throw for Zach Wilson. I don't know what's going on with my brain. I think I'm having a heart attack or a stroke or anything that um, includes fumbling your words or uh, lack of thoughts. Maybe the lack of blood flow getting to my brain to the point where I can't exercise every single department of my brain, you know? Like the word department, it's not up and running right now. This one is, though. It's, uh, it'll be 24 to 23. They respond to, with a field goal. They respond to a field goal with a field goal. God damn. Emmanuel Judge has the edge. He just finds it. And oh me, oh my. Emmanuel Judge trying to beat uh, Westerman down the side of the field. He does just that. He's in for a return touchdown. Emmanuel Judge, welcome to the end zone for the second time this, or maybe, I don't know. But he had a touchdown with Will Levis in like the garbage time of another game. They're doing a little standoff there. Emmanuel Judge who just caught this one and found the end zone after beating everyone else to the edge pretty much it was a great touchdown and uh it's actually a pretty fun celebration but made a judge it was, a, it was a great play good for him also a very clutch play too only like two possessions left in this game only four minutes in the fourth quarter and this is when we've got to be at our best and we'll try to get Shaq Griffin who's going to try to wrap up open in space it's a fumble it's on the ground Joseph Klein does a good job coming over and creating that fumble and um fortunately for the Jets they keep the ball unfortunate for us I don't know maybe keep the game a little closer make the content a little bit better I'll use your Joseph Klein here trying to check the running back here as they're going to have whoever the hell oh that's of course me Michael Hardman wide open. No man can follow him. Zach Wilson out to pass again. And this one tipped into the air. Tip, 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 tip. Garrett Wilson with the rare drop puts that one in the air and puts his team in a crisis there where he might need to or might want to. This one is actually picked off by Roger McCreary. What is happening right now? This is what the performance he needed last week for the breakout challenge. Doesn't have a breakout challenge this week and has two interceptions and a loss of dignity after that dance there. For sure. Let's go ahead and try to just mark our, uh, I don't know, mark our territory here. Take this one to the win. I don't know why I'm passing the football. It'll be Antonio Gibson who's going to try to get past Quincy Williams. He's just too damn good, man. Got the siren going here in MetLife. We're going to go for it, man. Why not? Kyle Phillips, the third down conversion. We have um, done a great job here today. Not only converting when we need to, but just making big plays. That's something that is definitely rare, and we don't see it that often in this uh, these, this franchise series. But today, we have done a great job. And let's try to get another big play. Let's go deep shot. Traylon Burks back of the end zone. Beat his man barely, but had, a, had an inch on him. Yep, we will pass the ball here, and we'll go for KJ Hamler. Almost picked off. Quincy Williams' range is unhuman. Unhumane, I should say. That is actually ridiculous what he just did. Fourth and two, no matter how open the run looks, it's not going to be, but we're going to try it anyways. It is actually going to be open. Never mind. Madden almost screwed us over there. We'll try a little play action. I don't like how many defenders are on that side. We will audible out of that and just try to uh, push this one 
up the field. This one thrown at the ground. Anto has a hole, but gets stuck in concrete or quicksand. What was that? Stay a little uh, game malfunction there. Nothing new with Madden. Uh, they saw daylight on a play that we could have converted, and they're like, uh-uh, bitch, no way. And Malik Willis just running wild, gets out of bounds, I guess. I don't know what's going on here. Addison Reed's kick is up and good, making it a two-possession game. It was important not to turn the ball over there to make it a two-possession game once we got into field goal range. So we'll see what the Jets can do. I doubt they'll do a whole lot. Maybe throw another interception. First and 10, and we'll look to see what happens here on this play. Maybe lay Ruckert out. Maybe force a fumble. We don't know. I'll let you guys know if anything else happens. This one's pretty much over. Turnover on downs. We'll just run this one out once again. If anything happens, I'll let you guys know. But until then, you guys will probably just see me at the end of the game. Last play of the game. Antonio Gibson wants to punish the Jets even more, and he does just that. Putting this one into the end zone. It was going to be the last play of the game regardless, but had daylight, found the end zone. Touchdown Antonio Gibson, I guess. Another turnover on downs, and we will just knee this one. Maybe one of the better games we've seen from Malik Willis, and we obviously had that bullcrap interception. Two touchdowns, 287 yards. We still can't get that completion percentage quite there because we're throwing the ball away so often, and uh, we just need to find a way to minimize that. But Antonio Gibson was fine, nothing crazy. Ty J. Spears definitely had his opportunities today. Didn't really do much with them receiving. It was Clyde Claxton, man. He really uh, gave the spark to the offense. KJ Hamler ran with it. Antonio Gibson was a good security blanket. And Traylon Burks was kind of good after the catch. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he had a couple good plays where he looked uh, like he was really great at the catch point and then uh, acceleration after the point. And then uh, Josh Wiley had that big play as well. I forgot about that. So big day and uh, big plays for our offense and defense. Kind of the same thing. Klein and David, both really good. Uh, TFLs, two for Levante David, one for Landry, one for Allen, one for Simmons, one for Hooker, and one for Rashawn Montag, who also came along with half a sack for Levante David as well. Simmons and um, Harold Landry. Two interceptions today for Roger McCreary, one for David, and one for Fulton. All we needed to do was pick off uh, Wilson once for one of our goals, but we got four instead. Huge upgrade here. Malik Willis has an upgrade, and well, he needs to be better in the middle of the field. That's for damn sure. We know that. He needs to be good at medium accuracy, which I believe that's what this is with strong arm. So we'll try strong arm because his medium accuracy needs to go up. Under pressure is also very bad, so in, uh, improviser can be good. But we'll just go strong arm. We need his accuracies to go up before we need to uh, focus on the intangibles and what he needs to do. So uh, throw accuracy uh, medium goes up one, which isn't great. And under pressure actually went up one as well. So that's good. It's a, it's a valuable upgrade, but... We still need to, we got a lot of work to go if Malik Willis is the guy. We win, putting us at 5-9 in this upcoming week and episode. You guys will have a, another 5-9 and nine team and making an even matchup here. We'll have to uh, defend off a vicious offense and try to play against a very, very good defensive line. So we'll see how that kind of translates next episode. But until then, take it easy. Go ahead and leave a like, go down, and subscribe, go watch any of the past content on the channel. It would really mean a lot. And that'll be all for me. Thank you guys for watching. Deuces!